Hey everyone, welcome back and happy Tuesday. Okay guys, so <laughs> we have Anchor Watch today, tonight. Jason and Josh will be doing Anchor Watch and also we have a little treat coming to you on the second channel today, so make sure to keep an eye out for that. In the meantime, though, we're back to talk about Kyla Mauricio because Mauricio has been spotted with another mystery blonde, which I'm still saying is Emma Slater, but the psychic, Alison Dubois, yeah, she's back again, and she is slamming the hell out of Kyla Mauricio. So we have lots to talk about, lots to discuss. Before we jump in, go ahead, smash that like button. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. Don't forget to hit that notification bell, and let's jump right in. Okay, so first of all, talking about the Kyle Richards Mauricio situation with the mystery blonde. The mystery blonde, if you guys didn't see the photos, the photos are definitely Emma Slater. And people are suggesting that they were caught together again in another restaurant getting cozy. What other mystery blonde would it be? And I'm not saying, I mean, well, I guess that's a loaded question. It's Los Angeles. It could have been many other mystery blondes, but I'm just calling it for what it is. It's definitely Emma Slater based off of what we found out so far. Now, maybe I shouldn't say definitely because that's like pretty definitive, but you guys get exactly what I'm saying. But for the Alison Dubois, the psychic from the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, oh, I want to talk about this because Reality Blurb came out with a whole thing. Alison Dubois, the psychic medium who predicted the downfall of Kyle Richards' marriage to Mauricio Umansky 13 years ago, is speaking out against the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star and sharing her thoughts on what's truly going on in Kyle's relationship. Kyle and Mauricio recently admitted their separation, and Kyle indicated that they were getting a divorce before she seemed to take it back. Now, some fans, however, have speculated that she's using the rift to get higher ratings for the show. But speaking on Behind the Velvet Rope with David Yancey podcast, and you guys know David. David's done a lot of amazing podcasts, and this is probably another one. I haven't actually listened to the full podcast, but also, guys, who has time for this? Allison addressed Mauricio and Kyle's marital issues, which are now being highlighted on The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. I think everything they do is for ratings and to further their careers. The fact that they had this huge press release about their separation this summer, you can only believe in coincidences for so long before you look at it and say, this looks premeditated. But Allison also addressed her first reading of Kyle 13 years ago and said she was so hungry at the time to be wealthy and adored, and she worked really hard to get to a place where she had some fame and she has the money. She also eventually asked, can't you hear them saying, okay, this season is boring, we need something, but I think it's out of their hands now. I think it's actually becoming real, and I think it's why Mauricio looks so surprised in the last couple of episodes when she'll push back at him. I think she's actually throwing in some of the truth, testing him, and I think she felt unloved for a long time. Now, Allison also addressed the recent episode in which Kyle indicated that until recently, she and Mauricio were always on the same page. I've met people, I know a lot of people, and I just don't believe that they've been happy for a long time. It really killed me in the episode where she kept saying that the two of them were always on the same page. That is absolute bullshit. Oy, oy, oy. I mean, I don't know, Alison Dubois, if she stole your dog, took your husband, took your best friend. I don't know what the situation is, but you really don't like this woman. Let's keep on. So, regarding Andy Cohen's question to Kyle on Watch What Happens Live about Allison's former prediction, she stated, it was interesting because Kyle, if you watch her face and her body language at the beginning of that episode, you see her demeanor completely change and she becomes disheveled in that moment. And I just find it so interesting, the power of me that just hearing my name was unsettling to her. She also said, I think because the truth hurts and her reaction has to do with something that she just doesn't want the public to know because she feels like it makes her look bad, she should have called me. We could have had a martini and like hashed it out. I could have given her some way forward advice, but that really wasn't what she was worried about. I think she was always worried about the castle being threatened, the money, the family, all of it. Her idea of what she wanted her life to look like and what's actually happening behind the scenes being counter to that vision that she has. 
Now she also reacted to Kyle's continual assertion that Allison was picking up on the energy of Camille Grammer and her ex-husband Kelsey during the past reading. And she said, what I had said in the reading was when your kids are bigger, you'll have nothing in common. That's not that terrible of a thing to say. And that just seemed to eviscerate her. She equated it with divorce and she's like, oh, she must be picking up on Camille. Now, she can deflect and say that all 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It's not going to make it true. It's deflecting. And if you're in a courtroom, this is a tactic that you look for that indicates that you're getting too close to the truth. So the medium then suggested that Andy orchestrated Kyle's recent interview with Kelly Clarkson, who asked the star about Allison and said, do you think Kelly actually did that without Andy's prompting? And she said, I mean, let's be real. Andy is the puppeteer. He's pulling all the strings. That's a setup. She hinted that if Mauricio and Kyle stay together, the reason is maybe that they're stronger together because Mauricio, without the show, his business will lose steam, and he knows that. We all know that if you're too attached to a reality show, it's like a big infomercial, and Kyle knows if she loses Mauricio as part of her life in this scenario that she has no storylines. So Allison added, I don't think you are ever allowed to maybe see the real dynamic of the relationship. I know that he's lived part of his life with her and has been very secretive, I have to go to Mexico. I have to go on this trip. And she's not there. And she doesn't know what's happening when he goes there. And I think at some point she had to stop caring because it hurt for too long. You cry. You cry on your pillow. You go through it. And I think that she got to the point where she just didn't care if he went to Portugal or wherever he wanted to go without her. But Allison indicated that she herself is being used for Kyle. Hmm, used by Kyle for relevancy. It's been 13 years. How many times has she brought my name up or had it brought up? She needs me. I don't need her. I'm good. I do readings. I write books. I have my podcast, The Dead Life. I'm good. I wish she would find that for herself and lose my name out of her mouth. But she also claimed that there's more to the story behind the Mauricio breaking away from his brother-in-law, Richard Hilton's real estate firm, saying there were things reportedly that came up missing in Kathy's husband's office that had to do with all of the details of clients that the agency didn't become big. Hmm. Okay until that information had been acquired by him and Kyle. I think he and Kyle should be together. I think that they're cut from the same cloth. But regarding Lisa Rinna's departure from the show, Allison commented saying, I feel bad for Rinna in a way, and I know that she was made to be the villain, but I don't think that the viewers are maybe fully grasping that the episodes and seasons without a villain are flat. So the villain is very important. Don't be surprised if down the road in future seasons, they don't pay her a whole bunch of money to come back because they need the villains. Kyle doesn't want to be the villain because she always wants, you know, to be adored by others. But commenting on the recent pretty woman scene with Dorit and PK, Allison also expressed the whole pretty woman scene with her and PK. P kept, PK kept using the word control, that she likes to control things, that she's controlling. As somebody who knows, you know, profiled criminals before, that kept standing out to me as though he might like somebody that he can control. And maybe that's not Dorit. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I mean, it seems like she has a lot to say when it comes to Kyle and Mauricio's relationship. And I feel like that's not going anywhere. But my question here is, is I just don't necessarily understand why she's continuing to talk about it. But I guess she's continuing to talk about it because she wants Kyle to stop talking about it, which is very confusing because I don't think anybody's winning in this instance. I think that they both should probably stop talking about it at this point. But I don't think that's what we're going to get. I feel like this is just one of those things where you give somebody an inch, they're going to take a mile. And it's like you're at the, if Kyle responds, if Allison responds, we're just fanning the fire. People love that. Some people are just wanting the attention. I'm not saying either one is, but I'm saying I've seen it myself. Guys, go ahead and comment below. Let me know what you think. Smash that like button, show some love, and we'll see you next time.